Hi, and welcome to Halftime at the Footy. Country football has been at the heart of WA footy for decades. This week, we have a look at the journey country players take to play waffle footy. The South Fremantle Football Club is one of those clubs who looks after two of the state's country zones and have reaped the rewards in recent years. South Randall are pretty lucky with their country zones. Uh, we've got two country zones up in the Gascoigne and also Upper Great Southern. Um, they've had the Gascoigne I think for about seven or eight years now um, and they've had the Upper Great Southern area for a long time as well. So uh, we're pretty lucky in that kind of sense where some, country, uh, some other waffle clubs have only got that one. So it's, it's been pretty good for, for the club. Daniel Vidovic is the player development officer at South Fremantle. He's been in the job for a year and a half and he's seen a number of players in the waffle system who have come from their country zones. I've been uh, questioned about how much I favour the country people because I reckon uh, there's a lot of talent out there that's um, untapped and I think the last year was the, the most we've had in our 16, or this year sorry, was the most we've had in our 16s program, I think we've had eight and this year we've got uh, in our 14s, 15s program there's going to be 11 players that's going to represent uh, their country zones playing for South Randall this year. Um, we've got a few playing Colts as well, and yeah, it's, the, our country areas are really good. This year, Hayden Schloith joined the Bulldogs Colts side, coming up from Katani, where he'd been part of the South Fremantle Warriors program. I did the 15s and 16s with South, so yeah, I always knew I had to play well to obviously get looked at and come up here to play Colts. Moving from the country to the city can be a daunting experience for players. Fortunately, the club has support programs in place to make the transition as smooth as possible. We've got our development program at the South Randall Warriors program. That's for the 14s, 15s and 16s. And obviously if you're in the age bracket and you're performing well and you're doing the right things in your country zone, we, we support them as much as we can uh, by bringing them down and uh, playing in, in the program and, and giving them more exposure that way. Like every country player who wants to make playing footy a career, Hayden set out his plan for 2011 and so far he's been on track. This year, Hayden will attend the AFL state screening with the hope of being drafted to an AFL club. Yeah, definitely. I always had goals set to obviously get picked in the state 18s and then hopefully play senior football up here and out south from Randall and then, yeah, obviously, hopefully get drafted out at the end of the year. Got a hand pass away, but it's pinched by Luke Lamana. He breaks a tackle, gets himself clear. He's 49 metres out and lines them up. That's brilliant play. Adam Gugliamana is another player who made the journey to Perth. Coming as far away as Carnarvon, Adam left home at the age of 16 to pursue a career in football, but didn't imagine he'd be putting on the red and white jumper. I started off playing my football in Carnarvon until I was about uh, 16. Then I went to boarding school for two years in Geraldton. And um, I think through most of my childhood, uh, Carnarvon was East Fremantle zone. So uh, pretty much the whole time thought if I ended up coming down to Perth I'd be going to East Fremantle but luckily for me while I was in boarding school they changed the zone to South Fremantle and then uh, came down the year after I finished school so 2006 and played two years of Colts and now with the seniors. Now he's going to oh, run no. straight in over his mark, he plays on, that's clever football by Gugumana. Adam says in the early 2000s the pathway for players in the Gascoigne region wasn't as direct for the players as it is now. But the players still had the desire to play city footy. Yeah, I think pretty much everyone growing up in Carnarvon sort of aspires to come down here. And um, you, you know a pathway exists, but through the changing of the zones and everything, when I was sort of younger, there wasn't a clear pathway. But obviously now with South Fremantle going up there, it's improved a lot and they have, I know they have squads coming down here to play all the time. The move to the city can be difficult for players, but providing support for these kids once they arrive is key to the success of the player and the club. John Dimmer, who's coached the Bulldogs to two premierships. Oh, absolutely. Uh, very important because um, we've got zones as far north as uh, Exmouth and Carnarvon and then we've got the other guys down Katanning, Wagen Way. Um, we put a lot of time and effort into junior development and to let them come up and play a few Colts games and show what they've got is important and then obviously if they've got the talent then they can come up and play the resis and we've seen a few already uh, from the Colts playing league this year so vitally important. 2006 I came down and played Colts and then yeah 2008 I think I played my first league game. Um, yeah it's pretty tough 
without living without um, parents, I live with my sister, still do, and luckily for me, she sort of does all the cooking and cleaning, because I'm no good at that, and she'll attest to that. But um, yeah, it's tough training. Sometimes you don't get home till about eight o'clock if no one's got a meal on the table for you. You got to sort it out for yourself. So it's yeah, it's definitely hard in that way. Four seasons with the club and undergoing a full knee reconstruction this year. Did Adam ever want to pack it in and head home? Yeah, probably definitely early on in the Colts it all seems a bit hard. You're only 17, 18, even 16, some of the Colts. And yeah, if you, I remember getting dropped in the Colts once and I, I wasn't enjoying my footy and you sort of got no place to go and no one to turn to. But luckily you make friends along the way and you just got to work through those hard times and they help you through. South Fremantle captain Jamie Graham has played for the Bulldogs since 2002 and played AFL for four years with West Coast. It was a big challenge um, to initially to start with. I did drive home a lot of weekends, but to Kalgoorlie, which is a good six-hour drive. But uh, yeah, once you obviously you move to a footy club, and that's the best part about it is you've got 50 instant friends. So, what are the advantages a country player has? I would think the fact that a lot of them, if they've got the talent, have actually played against bigger bodies from a very young age, like Hayden Schloet at the moment. He's played league football down in Katanning since I think he was about 15. So he's used to that uh, physical presence and it hasn't hindered him at all playing reserves and league football over the last couple of weeks. So I think that's the biggest advantage. The players agree. The most difficult part of playing footy in the city is not the game itself, but the preparation for playing on the weekend. The first thing I noticed was the training intensity and came down for a pre-season and probably wasn't prepared for it. You really have to eat properly, work really hard and b even before the pre-season starts you have to have a certain level of fitness just to get through it. And then just in the games, just the, the speed, everyone's strong, good running, good ability. So yeah, you really have to work hard at your weaknesses and also your strengths. Well this set up nicely for Jamie Graham. The biggest challenge is obviously that extra training and, and workload that you, you have got when you do move to the city. The intensity is a lot higher and, and everyone uh, as a whole is, is fitter. And I think in the country, obviously, you have a handful of really good players, but then it does drop away, whereas at Waffle level, you've, you know, everyone, everyone can play. Um, and, yeah, they are a lot fitter. I think that's the biggest thing is the fitness and, and the amount of training you do preparing for games. Yeah, you train, like, three times a week up here, but back home in the country, it's, like, only a couple of times a week, and it's a bit, bit easier. So what advice do these country boys have for players like them who want to make it in the city? Oh, the, obviously, the biggest thing, I reckon, is your... Get down as early as you can, I think. I, I sort of moved a little bit later. Um, but not only that, make sure you're prepared when you do come. So do some extra work um, and just so you know, so the, so the step isn't, isn't as great. To get down here, you have to have some sort of ability, but you just got to realise that up, up in the country, you're often a big fish in a small pond sort of thing. And uh, down here, everyone's got a lot of ability. you just got to, got to work hard and make the most of it.